Hey everyone, it's Tuesday and it's another day of juicy gist and plenty story right here on the news. The embattled wife of former Deputy Senior President Senator Ike Ekwere Madu, who was recently arrested in the UK together with her husband over alleged organ trafficking and harvesting case, has been granted bail. Albert, on very, very, very stringent ground, the common sergeant of London, Richard Mack, granted the bill and denied the husband, Mr. Ekwere Madu, bail. The comments were all wild in the comment section. Recall that this case received a lot of airplay that Nigerian senators had to travel to the UK to find out what the issue is. Nigerians didn't fail to show their comments in the comment section. Lynn Slough said, I think they bail her to go and care for her child. Remember that her child is in the hospital suffering from chronic kidney failure and that was the reason why the family went to seek organ transplant. At young boy said, not just her daughter, I did pity, which we all do because an innocent child should never suffer for the sins of their parents. At when Elufa said, the guy will promise them kidney, fuck up big time. Well, we all say that if they are guilty, they should be treated as such according to the law. If they are not, the law should also be able to exonerate them in this case. Moving on, President Muhammad Buhari, aka Bubu, aka the traveling president, as you all know, aka Sinzu, as some of you like to call him, is set to deliver a lecture on peace, security, and prosperity in Libya, which is quite hilarious because Nigeria is facing the same insecurities and the president hasn't been able to solve it. It is very funny and it is very, very ironious. Nigerians had their say in the comment section and they didn't waste their time in saying it. At MC2 says he is giving lectures on things he knows nothing about. Peace, F9. Security, F9. Prosperity, F9. And that is the fact. Nigeria has been failing on all this regard in a very long time. At Tim West said, laugh my ass out. Timothy Anene, a wedding MC, is sent to Akko a divorce ceremony soon. That is to show the irony when somebody that doesn't know anything is going to give a speech on what they don't know anything about. At Organesima said, now wow, how do people take lessons from a failure? If I must sit down and listen to you on any subject, let it be your practical lessons. Don't give me Google analysis. Which is the truth, Buhari should come to Nigeria and solve Nigeria's security problem before going to Liberia to give them information on security issues. Moving on, finally good news. And it's a proud day to be Nigerian as our own very Toby and Musa put Nigeria on the map by smashing the 100 meter hurdle world record to become the first Nigerian to ever win gold. She set a world record of 12.2 seconds in the semi-finals, beating the 12.20 seconds set by American Kendra Harrison in 2016. It is a very proud time to be a Nigerian. Recall that we've been winning on all fronts. Thames was in the soundtrack for the present and upcoming field Black Panther and Nigerians had a lot to say in the comment section. And Mary the planner just put her feelings in two words. Proud moment. It's a proud moment to be Nigerian and I'm sure you are proud watching this. At Ademi class, he said she represents a country that has little or no regards for this sort of achievement, just basking in its failures and unfulfilled promises which is sad, which is what everybody faces in Nigeria. But in situations like this, we all want to rejoice and be happy for Nigerians that succeed. Our just official said Nigeria will be great again. And we know, we are hoping and we are praying that Nigeria should be great again. That's it on the news today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Don't also forget to catch me live on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays.